Hey everybody and welcome to another Barricadeer video. We are here with, on the Saturn Relay. He is back. Let's go check out what he's brought for us this time around. So we're going to start with cosmetics like we normally do. Katir Sindana, 500 ducats, 500,000 credits for a very, very bulky thing. Um, don't forget the Sindanas are no longer uh, something you can pick up just as sort of arcane carriers. Um, so your fashion frame really does matter a lot more now than it does before. Like I say, no more using Sindanas just as arcane carriers. So you're really going to have to actually like this. And honestly, like I've said, every single time it's come up, I hate the design uh, personally. And it's very, very expensive. So you are really going to have to like it if you want to pick it up. Or if you're a completionist like me, I bought it for that reason only. But it is here if you want it, so... Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna spend that amount of ducats, that amount of credits, then uh, it is here if you do want it. We also have the Prisma Edo armor set, which is an armor set I personally like a lot. I've used this on quite a few frames over the years. It's only really been replaced fairly recently by some of the newer ones. It's actually a very cool looking one. If you look at the sort of the armor set here, you've got all the Prisma effects going down the arm and stuff, and like up the leg on the uh, shin pads. I like them a lot, and if you really want to save a little bit of ducats and a few credits, I, you could definitely sort of um, miss these out. They're just sort of like these tiny little pieces here, like, that's a lot. They're 225 ducats, 250,000 credits for those tiny little things there, so... Yeah, it is uh, something you could miss out on if you're looking to save a few credits and a few of the uh, ducats, but this is an armor set that I like a lot. We've also got the Anpu staff skin and An Anpu, but yeah, it's not a bad looking thing. I actually quite like it. It's that sort of Barrow diamond everything kind of look, and honestly, it looks pretty good on a lot of the staffs. I actually use this on my on my bow prime. Um, I like it a lot. It's a very good looking thing. 325 ducats, 250,000 credits. It's not too badly priced um, for a weapon skin. Um, since you can put it on a lot of different weapons. So, yeah, I actually am I'm kind of a fan of this one. Uh, yeah, it's uh, here if you want it. And I, uh, I definitely would recommend picking this up because I do like it a lot. Uh, we've also got the Anpu Sugatra. The little dangly thing that goes on the Indian melee weapon, as you can see there. Um, 250,000 uh, credits and 250 ducats. It's expensive for what is essentially just a thing, dangly thing to go on the Indian melee weapon. It's not a bad looking thing. I think maybe if it had like some more of the sort of Kitir energy going on on the uh, like diamond on the back here, I'd say it's more worth it. But you know, if you like your dangly things and your melee weapons, it is here if you want it. Moving on to mods. Primed Flow. Absolute must have. Pick it up, max it out. It's going to go on so many of your frames. It's unreal. It is definitely, definitely worth picking this one up. And the Slash Set is also here, apart from Fang Fuse Blood, which I don't actually quite understand why that's not here, but the Fang, the, sorry, the Slash mods actually dropped from the new Hydra list. So if you're actually looking at saving some credits and some ducats, you could just farm the Hydra list instead. Um, and that also means that the prices on the uh, trade chat are also gonna come down as well. So if you wanted to do it that way, rather than using your ducats and your credits, you could. But they are here if you wanna buy it direct from Barrow, cut out the grind, cut out any platinum, then, uh, yeah, 375 ducats, 150,000 credits each. Uh, in terms of weapons, we have the Prisma Jewel Cleavers. Prisma Jewel Cleavers are amazing. I love these things. They are very, very good. Especially since the, I think it's a new Swooping Falcon stance. I really like Jewel Swords a lot, <laughs> a lot more than I did before. Because honestly, I hated both of those old Jewel Sword stances, and I like Swooping a lot. Um, so I would definitely recommend picking up the Prisma Jewel Cleavers. They are fantastic. They've got really good performance as well. You can crit build them, status build them, which means they're fantastic for crit and condition overload. They are absolute little powerhouses and they are well worth picking up. And then we have his new items this time around, which are Vaulted Relics. Something I actually mentioned on my stream a few weeks ago, funnily enough, uh, and then it got announced, which I uh, I was quite surprised about, and that is the Axie V8, Neo uh, 1, and Axie A2. Now, in terms of these, they are bringing back the Odenata Prime and Vault Prime. Odenata Prime, 
I mean, it's Arkwing, so there's uh, definitely going to be a slightly mixed reception to that one coming back. But Volt Prime is a, it's a frame that got buffed recently, and people seem to be enjoying him. He's uh, become part of the new meta for the Eidolon fights as well. So he is definitely going to be one people are looking for right now. So the V8's got the former, next prime receiver, Odin Arts Prime Systems, Volt Prime Chassis, Odin Arts Prime Blueprint, and Volt Prime Neuroptics. The Neo 01, former Odin Arts Prime Blue, uh, Harness, sorry, Volt Prime Blueprint, Aclix Blueprint, Volt Prime Systems, and Odin Arts Prime Wings. And the third one's actually one we've had before, the XDA2, which is the former, next prime barrel, Lex Prime Receiver. Aclex Prime Blueprint, the Lex Prime Blueprint, and the Aclex Prime Link. So that's for the Aclex Prime. Another fantastic weapon. One that I also like a lot because the Lex Prime, loved by many, the Aclex Prime was a very, very good bit, sort of stepping stone onward from that. I really, really like it. So uh, I'm kind of glad that these are back, actually, the Aclex Primes. I'm going to be picking up a whole bunch of those. These two, I might do for the Vault Prime. I don't really care about Odin Arts Prime. I'm sure that there's probably quite a few people that don't really care about the Odin Arts Prime. Especially since there are kind of better options out there. But hey, they are here if you want them. 125 ducats, 55,000 credits each for the two vaulted ones. And for the Eclex Prime, it's 50, uh, 50 ducats and 45,000 credits. And then the final thing that is here on the PT rotation is the Falcon Mod Pack. 250 ducats, 50,000 credits. Honestly, it's a waste of ducats. Five mods, one guaranteed uncommon. It's a complete and utter waste of ducats. If you want to just throw your ducats at something, honestly, throw them at the relics and deal with the RNG on that. Don't throw them at your Falcon mod packs and deal with RNG and potentially get like a whole bunch of just utter, utter trash mods. Use those ducats on something else, trust me. This is a complete and utter waste of your ducats and your credits. And now onto the console rotation where it's another real nice one. Lots and lots of cosmetics here this time. We're going to start off with the Prisma arrows which are kind of cool looking and when you look at the design they're pretty evil too. These arrows are designed to go in and not be able to be pulled out again. Very very painful and you know very historically accurate. They are kind of expensive for just an arrow skin though that you can barely see when it's on your bow. 350 ducats, 75,000 credits, but to be honest with you, they're not bad looking. Same as the Katirka Vat armor, which I don't really mind. The headpiece, I mean, it's kind of odd, but it fits the whole Barrow theme with those diamonds again. But I sort of like that coat the Kavat gets, which is pretty cool looking and fits the Kavat pretty well. It's expensive, 500 ducats, 275,000 credits, but to be honest, it's one of the better looking Kavat armors. So it might be worth picking up if your kitty is one that you use often. The Hydroid's Immortal skin has also resurfaced. I don't remember the last time it was part of a rotation, but I think it's been a little while. Um, it's a decent looking skin, and honestly, since I have no idea when it's likely to return, it might be worth grabbing it while it's here. It's not cheap, 550 ducats, 100,000 credits, but I would still say it's worth it. If you're trying to save some ducats though, and you're not a Hydroid fan, you could probably save a few on this one. In addition to this, we have some fashion frame for your operator, the solo and dual earpieces. Honestly, they're not terrible looking, but to be perfectly honest, 250 ducats, 200,000 credits for a single earpiece, and double that for the dual earpieces for some fashion frame you are likely to see for maybe 30 seconds per mission, or properly once every six months or so when we have cinematic quests. I feel that these are way, way too expensive for what they are. But if you like them, or are a collector, then it might be worth grabbing them. The Prisma Lizette skin, however, is a wonderful looking thing. I love the Prisma effects it has going on. It's one that I would always recommend getting immediately. The default colouring looks incredible, and it really does colour very, very well. It's a thing of beauty, and it's not even that expensive. 120 ducats, 150,000 credits, definitely pick this up. We also have the Kintir Raza Sindana, which I haven't really made my mind up about still. I'm still undecided as to whether I really like it or not, however, it's definitely expensive. 400 ducats, 350,000 credits, so if you like it, then it's here to buy. One thing I do know I absolutely love are these twin Grakata Tosin skins, which work on both the normal and Prisma Grakata 2, the single variants. 
they look incredible and honestly they suit my nicks down to the ground look at her in the picture the pattern is fantastic looking and when you take into account this skin not only works on the twins but the other two Gracartas as well 300 ducats 300,000 credits is actually not too expensive I like them a lot and I'm definitely going to recommend picking these up the Katia Asimos diadem is the final cosmetic piece on this console rotation and it kind of suffers from the same problem as the earpieces really you only rarely see it and for that price too 525 ducats and 375,000 credits a, a few seconds per mission maybe one decent showing every six months or so I really don't think it's worth it but hey if you like them grab it while it's hot in terms of the mods that are here this time none of them are Barrow exclusive they all drop in game Tempo Royale comes from Isolator Bursts, Astral Twilight from a bunch of places like Kuva Jester's, Lua Spy, uh, Spy, Denial Bursts, and more. Vermilion Storm from Kuva Guardians, Manic Bombards, and then you got Fang Fuselove, which comes from the Idol on Hydra list. So, to be honest with you, I would try and save some ducats here and farm the mods. However, if you really want to skip the grind, 385 ducats, 175,000 credits per mod will allow you to skip that grind. The weapons on this console rotation are the ever impressive Prisma Gracata, able to have the shiny new Tosin skin applied to it. It's an incredible weapon though, great on its own and one of the strongest rifles out there. Definitely worth buying, it's really not cheap though, 610 ducats, 100,000 credits, but honestly, I really do think it's worth it. I like the Prisma Gracata a lot, it's sortie worthy and it's a fun weapon to use, while also being very very effective, definitely, definitely pick it up and give it a go. Then, the final weapon we have is the Prisma Veritux. I honestly don't remember a lot about Arcwing melee weapons because they're all so similar to each other and have almost no modding differences between each other whatsoever. Um, so honestly, I've not really paid any attention to them at all. But what I can tell you is that it gives you 3,000 mastery and that it's expensive. 550 ducats, 150,000 credits. Other than that, it's barely any different to any of the other uh, Arcwing melee weapons. So, it's likely you've already got a weapon that's almost the same stats as this, uh, if you've got all the other Arcwing melee weapons, but honestly, it's here if you want it, plus, like I say, you get the extra 3,000 mastery, so. And the final item in today's huge rotation is the credit booster, so if you plan on doing some credit runs this weekend or hitting up the index for credits, then it might be worth spending the 350 ducats and 75,000 credits for one of these and really maxing out that credit farm. Okay, so that's the uh, Barrow rotation this time around. Here's Neja trying to get into the shot. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to have more guide videos and bits and pieces coming out in the next week. Some more Vermintide stuff as well. Some guides for the Tomes and Grimoires for that. But for now, many, many thanks for watching. And I shall see you in the next video.